How's it going everyone? My name is Uri Plays and welcome to The Incident at Grove Lake. A horror game that's, I think, based off of like alien abductions and all sorts of things like that, Area 51. So I'm kind of looking forward to it, I'm not gonna lie, but let's, let's play, let's play. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get, let's get right in. Looks very interesting, it's like a uh, PlayStation 1 type of game. Repent of us into our god, uh, for our kingdom is near, or something like that. Is this a point and click? What is this? Oh, it's not. This this is literally the barrier of Area 51, isn't it? What the hell? A stop? There's cameras? Oh, don't tell me we're gonna be doing what happened a few years back. Running over the barrier into Area 51. Dude, I love the art style of games like these as well. The more pixelated, the better. <laughs> oh, what what is this? Dot 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 dot. dot. Initializing scan. Beep, 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 beep. Connecting to server. Uh, 1102. That is my IP address. To stop leaking that. Triangulating target position. Connecting to live footage. Connecting to live audio. Connected. Oh. <laughs> this sound is used everywhere, man. Accessing audio. Click to begin. Target. Appreciate you taking my call. Let's get this straight. You got out unnoticed. Medical discharge. They think I have kidney stones. Unknown. <laughs> Not so smart as they think. As Wait, what? Not so smart as they think at S4. What's S4? Smarter than you know. So can we meet? Sure, let's make it a public place. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. Neither do I. Let's save a diner on... <laughs> Works for me. I'll bring what I found. Good, good. I'll see you soon. Remember what I have risked... What I have risked for this. The subtitles are a bit wonky. I remember! Line disconnected. What now? Um... Somewhere north of Nevada. How random. September 9th, 1997. Whoa. And we're in. This game is dope looking. Okay, so I guess we just keep going until we find the diner that we were talking about. What What is kind of like the premise here though? Because are they gonna be going into Area 51, or are they gonna be uh, planning to infiltrate or something like that? I don't know what they're doing. Oh, there's the diner. Yo, what's up? Where's the guy that phone called me? Is that you? How do I interact? It's probably this guy, I bet. Yeah, talk to stranger. Thank you for, for coming. I didn't know who else to tell. I've risked so much getting here. They're following me. I don't have much time. Please take these. Some files and just one of many tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. They need to know before it's too late. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. There's a radio station I know of, you know? Please go and be careful. They'll follow you too. Who's gonna follow me? Oh, these guys. Okay, so they stole files from Area 51, I assume. And now they're trying to go public with it. September 10th, 1997. You 
Ghost of the Rockies, you're on the air on Ghost to Ghost AM. What the hell? How you doing, Art? Uh, just fine. Uh, I'm from Gulfport, Florida. Gulfport, Pick up Florida. tape. Okay. Yeah. All the way across the continent from you. What are we doing? Um, Insert tape. No, that's true. Let's put the tape in. Watch um, tape. I wanted to tell you about something that happened. What's on this tape? That's so important, actually. The following tape is property of the United States government. Incident 17, example of encounter type something. Copy and or distribution of this tape is strictly prohibited. Classification of this content is reserved to members of whatever. The following took place, uh, Grove Lake redacted. The tape was discovered and handed to local authorities. Please contact your facility supervisor on conclusion of this tape. I don't have enough time to read it. I actually don't have enough time to read it. Whoa. Oh, dude, it's a game within a game. That is such a cool idea. Okay, so it's someone walking into the middle of nowhere, it seems. What is happening here? All the trees are like bending when I move my camera. That's so weird. Whoa, 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 where the hell? Fascinating. So this is a tape of an experiment on someone. August 19th. So almost a month before... Yeah, almost a month before we got our hands on it. What the hell is all of this? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's someone sitting at a campfire. At 11 p.m. What the hell? So can I... Exit seeing this, this tape at any time or... Wait, what? Okay, and then we camped out for the night. Okay, so this, this person... Is going to the lake. Why are they going to the lake? What's been happening at this lake? This... Oh my god. I don't need to, my heart rate to increase any more in this heat. Like seriously, it's like 40 degrees in this room. What can I hear? They got a call from a subject. Or something like that. From what I could make out anyway. This is a long walk, man. Are you sure you want to be doing this? Most normal people would get lost. Like, why are you going to this lake? Oh. And that's the end of the tape. Please turn supplied handbook to page 42. We will now review the four types of encounters. The first kind, C1. Visual sh sightings of an unidentified flying object. Seemingly less than 500 feet away that show an uh, appreciable angular extension. Okay, a UFO. <laughs> in a nutshell. The second kind is C2. A UFO event with physical effects, such as interference, animal reactions, or physical traits like impressions in the ground, scorched or otherwise affected vegetation, or chemical traits. Interesting. UFO encounters in which an animated entity is present, 
These include humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occupants or pilots of a UFO. Whoa. The fourth kind? A close encounter of the fourth kind is a UFO event is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. Example of C2. Please identify on your workbook any further... whatever. What the... what? What is happening? Wait, what is that? Yo, 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 yo! I'm clicking on it! Am I supposed to be doing anything? Whoa, what the hell? I don't think anything happens when I click. Oh, now we're in. What's happened to you? Why are you breathing so heavy? Yo? Is there someone in here with me? Right now? Oh my god. What is... what is... Okay, I'm just supposed to keep going? I... okay, uh... What? Are they abducting everything? What? What is that? Am I doing a good job? Is there something behind me? No, not really, but let's get to the, the house. Whoa. He got abducted, yo. Oh, and he recorded it. Oh my. Oh my god. He got abducted, dude, but why does the spaceship look all flesh? Don't look! It's a naked man! Oh, gross. Everything's all twisty and turny and... Oh my god, there's a bunch of dead people. That looks like his willy. <laughs> Look at that, he has a fat sausage. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Right, where am I going in this? Say what now? I don't know why that sound played. Wait, he's naked. Is he being dragged? He's being dragged. Oh, there comes Big Papa. Papa Alien. What can I say? Procedure. It's all procedure. And the camera got left behind, baby. And that's it, right? 
What the hell? That's it? Is that is is that it? The tape is now concluded. No further footage was recoverable. Tape will be added to archive. Something for. Please now contact your facility supervisor for psychoanalysis and debrief. You will be signing and completing form 52. Your discretion is a matter of national security. Please remember your oath and those who came before you. Please eject tape now. I think it, this guy is dead. For having that kind of document on him. Yo, are we playing? What, what is this? It's night time. Oh no, it's the car with the dudes from before! Uh... Right, 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 right. I don't think I want to open that. I don't think I want to open that. I don't think I want to open that. Oh, the game's making me open it. Wait, what the hell is this? All the documents. Ooh, okay. See, I didn't see that before. Um, hopefully they don't force the door open. Uh, is there nothing I can do? Alright then, hello boys, how's it going? Yep, uh, what, what is, what is up, dude? Oh, it's the goons. They've come to kill me. Yeah, you know what? Some things are better left unread. On September 11th, 1997, talk show host Art Bell receives a frantic call. Online, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, 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 I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and <laughs> I, I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're uh, they're they're gonna um, they'll triangulate on this position really really soon. Well, um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, well, what we're thinking of as as aliens are they're uh, they're they're extra dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the um, space program made contact with. Uh, they they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they the, the military. I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now are but they're not doing they're not doing anything they are not they want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable discharge uh, can you imagine? Because there are people that work in there, right? And those secrets never leave that that place. It's really, really scary for if someone ever had this experience before, where they want to get something out because it's it's gonna be life changing. They want people to know. It heads up because they care about the people and the future. Uh, so they want to let them know, but they can't because it's being disclosed. 
Uh, but that was the incident at the Grove Lake, man. That was a great game. Great short game. I actually enjoyed that. Uh, it was pretty linear, and I'm not gonna lie, there wasn't a whole lot to do. You kind of just walked from point A to point B. There weren't much mechanics, but... The story itself was interesting. The concept itself is very cool. As always, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. But apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.